Okay, hi everyone, I'm Amelia Newcomb. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, hit the bell if you wanna get notifications when I post a dressage video every Wednesday. Sign up for my email list. I have, um, I send out great emails about dressage training and riding if you're interested in learning more about dressage. So today we're talking about five tips to improve your confidence for cantering. So lots of riders, I think they're pretty good in the walk and the trot. And then when it comes time to canter, the horse gets tense, they get tense. And it's a place that a lot of people have problems with confidence. So that's our topic for today. Okay, so my first tip to improving your canter is to work on trotting fast. I think a lot of people make the mistake of they have this like really slow trot and then all of a sudden they wanna pick up the canter which is a lot faster. What I like to do is I like to get my horse trotting really forward so that they're trotting almost as forward as the canter is. So I'm gonna demonstrate for you. I'm gonna pick up the trot So this is kind of a nice working trot, I would say here. Now, if I want to think about cantering, I wanna first think about getting my horse to trot a little faster. So the way I do this is an interval. So I'm gonna ask for another notch, a tick up in the tempo of this trot. So I'm gonna say, come on. Okay, so you see how she got a little bit tense when I asked for that bigger trot. So, and maybe you get tense too. So now you just want to stay at this faster trot until your horse and you both relax in this faster trot. Then once you're relaxed in this trot, now you say, come on, a little more trot. Okay. And you see she gets a little braced. Maybe I get a little worried. So I'm just going to stay at this tempo until we both relax. Then I'm going to say, okay, another another notch up until I'm trotting so forward that going to canter isn't such a big deal. So a lot of problems are going to get solved if you can trot your horse like the speed of the canter. So if you can trot your horse really, really fast and you and your horse stay relaxed and confident and in control, that's going to help. Let me show you once the other way. So again, this, I'll show you first. This trot would be too slow to canter from because you see how she's barely going. And if all of a sudden I kick her and make her canter, she's going to get tight and nervous. And so am I. So instead I'm going to say, come on, trot faster. Now I'm just going to stay at this speed until I feel like she's bendable and supple and loose. And then I'm gonna say, come on, trot a little faster. And again, I'm just gonna coast at this speed until I feel like she's trotting so forward that she basically just naturally picks up the canner. This is how I teach the young horses to pick up the canner. This is how I teach my green riders to pick up the canner is just by trotting faster and faster until the horse naturally breaks into the canter rather than having to make a big aid for the canter. So that's really important for you and your horse's relaxation is to think about that, that it's basically trotting your horse faster and faster and faster till they just naturally break to canter instead of you having to kick them into canter. When I, my first riding instructor, she used to always say, take a deep breath in, exhale, and then ask for a canner. And the reason that that's important for two reasons. One is your breath always helps you relax. Like if you just practice, like right now, if you hold your breath, 
immediately your body's gonna get tense. So breathing helps you relax. It also creates a moment of quietness in your aids before you ask for a canner, which is really important that you're still and peaceful and then ask for a canner rather than kicking and squeezing and kicking and squeezing and then trying to canner. So I'm gonna demonstrate. So I'm trotting here. And so in the trot, I'm breathing in the, in the motion of my horse's back. So in the motion of the trot, I'm breathing in, out, in, out. Now I'm gonna take a deep breath in, exhale, canter. And, and if you repeat this a lot, your horse will start to, they're so sensitive, they'll feel you take that breath and then they'll know that something's coming. And then same thing when I go canter to trot. Deep breath in, exhale, trot. So you always want to do your transitions into and out of the canter when you're exhaling. So I'll show you again, deep breath in, inhale, exhale, outside leg back, canter. And then also in the canter. And thinking about breathing, nice, deep, slow breath in. And then also all the way out with my breath. And then when I want to go trot, deep breath in, exhale, trot. Good girl. So that's the second tip is your breathing is super important to staying relaxed and also for your horse staying relaxed in the canter. Okay, tip number three is to focus on your rider position. So I can't tell you how many riders that I've trained and you know, their trot position is really nice. Like their legs are long, heels are down, hands in front of the saddle, and then it comes time to canter and all of a sudden it's like this. Like they lean forward, their hands literally come like two feet back their, their heels go up, they clamp on their horse. And what this does, if, especially if you have a sensitive horse, is like you're riding along and they're used to the way you're riding the trot. And if you completely change how you're riding when you ask for canter, it's gonna totally freak them out. So first I'm gonna demonstrate to you the correct way and then I'll try and demonstrate the incorrect way of doing this. So. When I'm trotting, my hands are, I kind of try to keep my hands in front of this white fuzzy pad that I have. When I ask for canner, it's basically just my outside leg back. It's from my knees down that ask for canner. So my calf, and you see how my hands and my seat stay exactly the same when I make that canner transition. So what I see a lot of people do is that they have like a nice trot position and the second they go into canter, it's like this. And you see how my horse like doesn't, she doesn't canter, right? Because all of a sudden I pulled back, I've leaned forward and this horse is, she's such a good girl. A lot of like, a sense, if I did that on some of my other horses, they would bolt off and buck me off. So it's really important when you pick up the canner to maintain your correct position. And if you ask for canner and it doesn't work, then set it up and ask correctly. So let me show you guys one more time a correct transition. And so a correct transition again. My hands are down, deep breath in, exhale, canner. Basically, the only thing that changes is my outside leg goes a little back and on, and my hips go from a trot motion, which is up and down, to a canter motion, where I'm swishing forward, 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 in the canter. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Fabby. Okay, so my last tip is that it's always important to stay safe. 
So if your horse isn't used to cantering under saddle, or if they have some bad habits in the canter, I would recommend having a trainer get on or an experienced rider get on, ride the horse first for you. Um, and then also you can make sure, if you can't get a trainer to ride your horse, make sure you lunge your horse, get your horse comfortable with cantering with a saddle on their back because it's always important to stay safe. So comment below, let me know if this helps you. Let me know what your biggest problem is in the canter and I will try to make you some more videos. Don't forget to subscribe and also sign up for my email list. I have, um, I send out great emails about dressage training and riding if you're interested in learning more about dressage, which I assume you are since you're here. The end.